What's up everybody, Jose once again from PetRockMedia.com back with another video and in today's quick short video we're going to talk about how I feel you should be preserving your images other than just digitally creating them obviously with your camera and then putting them on a hard drive and then having them be lost and forgotten in hard drive lore. This in my opinion is a great way to preserve those images while also having a little bit of a vintage more old school feel to it when it comes to creating and preserving those images. Let's talk about it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we talk about gear, photography, cinematography, gaming, teching out and geeking out, just overall having a great time and having some great discussion. If that sounds like something you're interested in, perhaps you should maybe consider and hit that subscribe button and punching that bell icon so you're notified of each and every time we post content to the channel. Before we get started, I just want to let you all know that we did hit 3,000 subscribers, so again, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you stopping on by. We are on our road to the goal of 5,000 subscribers, which hopefully we can end or hit, I'm sorry, by the end of 2023 next year. So again, thank all of you beautiful human beings for stopping on by and supporting the channel and supporting this little channel in the corner of YouTube. I greatly appreciate all of your support. And lastly, this entire episode is being shot on the Fujifilm X-H2S with the Sigma 1835 uh, crop sensored uh, lens from Canon. It's a Canon EF mount, and I'm using the Fringer um, FX to EF or EF to FX mount adapter. And we're shooting at F-Log, not F-Log 2, but general F-Log. So let me know what you think down in the comments of the color. All right, so as the video title includes, this is a video about the Fujifilm Intax wide specific wide printer and that's this little bad boy right here now i got it in this brownish color just because i'm a fan of how it looks uh, but it also comes in white and black if i'm not mistaken and i got this uh, recommendation from a fellow youtuber and photographer and i'll leave their channel down below definitely go and check him out he is a great great youtuber great photographer and what he talked about when it comes to printing images really hit home because i'm a former film photographer and switching over to digital was obviously a great way to you know maximize having to be able to take more pictures and not having to worry about taking away so much or taking with me so many rolls of film and then worrying about the different isos of the film speeds i was able to digitally create that in my camera take a memory card which can hold back in the day when it was you know a 16 uh, megabyte card um, you know, I could hold maybe 150 images depending on the megapixel of the camera, but still to me versus coming from a 12 uh, print roll of uh, medium format film, it was amazing, right? Having one little memory card, buy a couple of those and I'm set. But what I feel has, has taken away from the, the joy of photography is being able to share those memories, right? Back in the day, we used to print them, send them off. If you didn't do your printing at home, which was very expensive, you stopped off and you dropped them off at a one hour lab if you shot in C41 processing and you got them back in roughly about an hour, depending on how many customers they had drop off film that day. You possibly could have your prints within an hour, maybe two or three, but you got them back that same day and you were able to physically look at a print. Nowadays, everything digital, we either send them to our phones and then post them straight to social media or they live on our phones if we take them digitally with this thing or with our digital cameras, we offload them to a computer, we take a few, we like a few, maybe send those out to social media and then they stay on our hard drive. Very rarely do we send prints off to Impix, to Walgreens, Walmart, wherever you get your prints from. Very rarely do you see individuals doing that. Basically, it's for the gram, you take the picture, you post it, boom, you're done. And so what I feel this printer does is allows you to slow down, select the images that you want on your camera, send it over to your phone, um, so that way you can have the ones that you want to print and then send it over to this little printer to print out some physical prints. Now, it does take the Intax wide film and this two pack, each little uh, film pack allows you to print 10 images. Right, so you get two, so a total of 20. It's not cheap, it's about $24 for the pack of film, so that equals out to about a dollar of print, which again is not cheap in the slightest. However, I feel we invest a ton of money into our gear. We're always worried about the latest lens, the most expensive camera body, um, L series lenses if you're on Canon, you know, just whatever the case may be, you're always trying to get the best gear possible. But yet when it comes to prints, we want to cheap out. We want to get less paper. We don't get, want to get luster paper. We don't want to add metallic finish into it or sheen or matte or you know things like that. We don't want to frame them. And in my opinion, that's a lost art of photography is the overall end experience. We'd like to do that for our customers, but for ourselves, 
we tend to shy away from that. And my opinion, I feel like that's where we really need to come in agreement as a photography community in that printed format photography is a lost and it's dying and it's a lost form of showing our artwork. And I think that's a saddening reality that we might be experiencing. So I think personally printing images, just a few, not asking to print, you know, the entire uh, day of images that I may have taken, but my top one, two, three pictures sent into the printer. And at the end of the year, create this type of binder that has all these images on there and then just show them off to family and friends as they stop on by. But again, that kind of turned in more to a rant towards the end. I just wanted to tell you that in my opinion, this is a great little printer. This is not sponsored by Fujifilm. I bought this with my hard earned money, but I think it's a great, great little tool. It's portable. Um, film is a little expensive, but again, it's portability for me to just simply send over my images from my camera to my phone, do a quick edit, maybe run it through Visco and then spit it out. In my opinion, is a great way to take away some memories of that day, whether it be, like I said, one, two or three top images. And I think it's a great way to preserve those images and those memories moving forward. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have another type of printer? This is in no way means the best printer out there. I just wanted to share my experience with it and kind of share my two cents and my opinion on how I believe this printer can help you in your photography as far as preserving and capturing those memories and saving them and having you have something tangible to then view throughout your day and throughout your weeks and months. Again, I thank all of you for stopping on by to my little corner of YouTube. Again, we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite printer is or what's your favorite way of capturing those images and preserving them. Is it still just putting them on a hard drive, but let's say you use a hard drive new every year. Let me know what your techniques are down below. I'll catch all of you beautiful human beings in the next video. Peace.